Today, I'm going to teach you how to grow your own barnacles. I just said, yes, ma'am, anything. Not really. I have no idea what those are. I don't know. I think I might save some of these little barnacles just in a little vial or something. If I ever bump into a chemist, I'll be like, hey, can you analyze this for me? And then they'll be able to tell me whether or not I discovered a new life form. I always save my feints from everything, but also I save any failed experiments. I put them all together into this pot. It is aluminum, and that was probably a dumb idea. And then I left it with my liquor fairy for a couple of months. When I got it back, it had all this crap in it. Now don't worry, none of the, the alcohol and, and experiments and stuff that were in here were intended to be for consumption. I sanitize my groceries. I still do. I have since the pandemic started. You know, we've had family members get sick uh, and we lost a family member from COVID. And so I have never taken chances. Until we're vaccinated, until two weeks after we're fully vaccinated, I'm gonna continue to spray down my groceries with sanitizer like I have from the beginning. One of my viewers who is an EMT, he sent me an email and he said he does exactly the same thing because he's a trained medical professional, that makes me feel a lot better that I'm not paranoid and I am, I'm taking an appropriate amount of caution. But they don't sell the big bottles of ethanol in the store anymore uh, like they did after the first month or so of the pandemic when uh, everybody started hoarding sanitizer. And that's what I've been using as a spray. So I wanted to make some more. And so I just saved everything up that was a, either a failure or uh, just faints and put them all in that pot and something grew in there here's what it looks like I did a little pH test with some test strips on it just to see if that gave me any sort of indicator of what it is like when you mush these things they just come apart in your finger like that and they mush there's not much to them they're kind of gritty and so there's obviously some sort of crystal development in there, some sort of crystal growth. They just smell like the stuff that was in the pot. Um, but there's also a little bit of a, almost a greasiness or a, so a soapiness. So I'm thinking it's a combination. It's some sort of a salt that has grown these crystals, these strange crystals on the inside of the pot. And, um, you know, fusel, fusel oils, things like that. So if you're a chemist or you've seen this before and you know what it is, please post a comment down in the comment section. Now again, the alcohol that was in this pot is just going to be used for sanitizing surfaces of my groceries. Anything that comes in a package, a box, plastic, whatever, it's never going to touch my food. It's never going to go in my body. What I wanted to see mainly was how many times do you have to run something through a pot still in order to get a high enough ABV for it to be a good sanitizer three the answer is three i started out with i think five gallons of failed experiments and faints and then that got distilled through the pot still and then i added more faints to that from other experiments and got the abv up around 30 percent and then i had it all in that pot for a couple of months the liquor fairy took it and distilled it it came out at like 82 percent out of the pipe you know initially with all the, the four shots in the heads the good news is i have a, uh, almost two gallons at uh, right around 70 percent and you only need 60 to sanitize now it still smells like everything that was in it uh, you're not making vodka <laughs> that's for damn sure you're making an all faints run uh, this one is a non-potable all faints run because of that weird shit that was growing in it. Okay, so uh, I want to try one other thing. The sanitizer smells really fragrant and it's a little too strong for me for, for what I need to do. So when I'm spraying down my groceries, it's just a little potent. You know, everything kind of has this weird cherries and cinnamon and apple and everything else. It's just a little weird. So I want to see if I can strip some of that smell out of it. I'm not going to do anything fancy. Plenty of people use uh, filters to filter their stuff, but I don't know if anybody's used a filter to filter out this much aroma. Normally you do it on like a, a neutral so you can kind of polish the, the flavor a little bit. I just want to get the uh, the aroma circus out of there because there's just so much going on. So I'm just going to filter it. This got an old cartridge in it and uh, we're gonna filter it through the Brita and see what happens. It 
So while this is draining, I'm not going to make you sit through that, but I have some good news. My wife and I just went and got our COVID vaccines. The first dose and we got the Pfizer vaccine. I'm very excited about it. You could almost say it was a little bit of a religious experience. I'll exercise judgment right now. Because we In have... the name of Jesus! Oh, thank you. <laughs> I just think that is a kick-ass metal lick and it totally fit. Just to give the guy who made that riff full credit, I'm going to put a link for his video down in the video description so you can check it out. It's pretty hilarious. So uh, if you haven't gotten your shot, I highly recommend you do. It makes you safer, makes your whole family safer. My wife and I are so far down on the list of uh, eligibility because we don't have kids, we're not teachers or first responders or anything, so we couldn't get it until just now. And I imagine a lot of you guys are in the same circumstance. Just go to like CVS or Walmart or uh, your local county health services and check out their website and sign up. It's easy to do. It took us about five minutes to get it. Um, I had a sore arm for, I don't know, most of the day and uh, the next day I was fine. I was a little nappy. My wife, she had a little bit of the flu-like symptoms. She was achy and just not feeling so great for about six hours, and then she was fine the next day. The microchip doesn't even hurt. Uh, plus, I've already got one in my cell phone, and so do you, and <laughs> just go get vaccinated. It's better for you, it's better for your family. A couple of weeks, we'll go get the second shot, and then about three weeks, two to three weeks after that, we'll technically be, uh, you know, full of antibodies and uh, much safer. All right, before we take the uh, filter out of here and do the old sniff test on what we got, I want to thank all of my Patreon supporters because you guys are amazing. I haven't posted in a little bit, but thank you guys so much for sticking with me. I couldn't do this without you. I could not keep the lights on without your support. I really appreciate it. Let's give this stuff a sniff. Mm. That first round has run through the filter and it's only gone through once and I can already tell a huge difference like I'm using the the uh, the old sanitizer bottles that I used up and uh, that's what I'm keeping this in from now on because it's not potable now this stuff it's like cherries and apple and oranges and cinnamon and all kinds of crazy stuff uh, everything that was in the faints bucket Wow this has been through one pass through the filter and I'm barely picking up anything. It's more of a it's more of a rubbing alcohol with some weird stuff kind of wisping in the background. Like this one is right on the nose. This one you kind of have to search for it. So I'm wondering if I run this through the filter three or four times would it strip out even more flavor? Probably so. But beyond that what if we started with a sugar wash instead of this funky menagerie that I had going on in that weird ass pot that grew barnacles and then pot still that three times hypothetically and then ran it through a Brita probably with a new filter in it would I get vodka? I don't know I have no idea if it would be a passable vodka or, or a neutral. So we're going to do that in an experiment in an upcoming video, definitely, for sure. Uh, so look for that. For now, I think I've got what I need. I have uh, a much less aromatic sanitizer to uh, use to spray down my groceries. So I'm glad that I made this sanitizer, even though we're kind of, you know, pushing towards the end of the pandemic. I'm still going to wear my mask for the next month. Anytime I'm outside, I'm still going to sanitize everything. It doesn't cost you anything to wear a mask. All right, if you like this video, if you learned anything, do me a favor, hit the like button. It helps out the channel immensely. If you want to see what I'm going to do next time, I've got a, uh, I've got a spiced rum project coming up and I'm definitely going to do that uh, neutral sugar wash to, to see how that turns out. I'm very excited about that. So if you want to see those things, hit the subscribe button right down in this area, probably, unless YouTube moves it, and the little bell icon right next to it, click that, and you'll get notified when I post new content. 
And if you have any questions or comments, if you have any idea what the hell I was growing in that pot, do me a favor and post them in the comment section down below. All right, thanks for watching. Talk at you later.